So just two days to go before Mexico's regional elections, the atmosphere in many parts of that country remains very tense. The head of Mexico's National Human Rights Commission has told President Enrique Peña Nieto that official corruption, torture and enforced disappearance threaten the country's stability. Meanwhile, some protesters have continued to take militant action aimed at stopping Sunday's election. Our correspondent Clayton Khan now has the latest on the protest in the state of Oaxaca and what some are calling media manipulation of the demonstrations. In Oaxaca, protesters burned campaign propaganda and materials of the ruling Institutional Revolutionary Party, or PRI, one of many actions that different sectors of civil society are carrying out to express their rejection of the political class in the June 7th elections. There are different activities being carried out, such as the takeover of transnationals and blockades of gas stations. These are our actions and we will carry out more. For more than two days, militant teachers have brought to a standstill activities of the distribution of oil and gas in the region as an attempt to bring economic activity to a standstill. Electoral authorities admit the role of these protests. Ha venido detonándose eh, delicadas expresiones de inconformidad social que por primera vez... This is the first time that protesters are calling for and threatening to disrupt or stop the elections. That is a phenomenon that we have never had here before. Yet analysts in Oaxaca affirm that information on the waves of recent citizen protests against the political class and electoral process may be being manipulated by the corporate media sector. We realize the importance of counting on grassroots media, because here in Oaxaca we can count on one hand the number of families that control the radio and newspapers. There was complete control of all of this. However, Oaxaca's 75,000 strong teachers union organizing much of the state's protest activity count on their own grassroots radio to challenge what they say are the misrepresentations of the mainstream media. Although community and citizens radio stations in Oaxaca and other states have confronted threats of being shut down and arrests of their operators, they say the popular and grassroots support gives them the legitimacy to keep operating. Clayton Khan, Telesur, Oaxaca City.